Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Welcome in MTSP channel Now, we will study about science preparation for the final assessment of the second semester for a grade For the first question Look at the following picture of waves Picture A and picture B. Sinta said that the velocity of wave A is bigger than the velocity of wave B. But Jasmine said that the velocity of wave B is bigger than the velocity of wave A. Evaluate who has true answer. Now we go to the solution of first question. Wave A. Observe the picture of wave A. After observing the picture of wave A, we can determine the given of wave A. The amount of wave is 1.5 because it has two crests and one throw. The time is 0.75 second and the lambda is 2 meters. The question asks about with a velocity or VA with unit meter per second. To answer the question, we use formula VA equals to lambda times width frequency. The lambda is 2 meters but the frequency still unknown. We could count the frequency with formula F equals to N per T equals to 1.5 per 0.75 So the frequency is 2 Hz. Now we input the frequency into the formula. So we get the value of VA is 4 meter per second. Wave B. Observe the picture of wave B. After observing the picture of wave B, we can determine the given. The number of wave is 1.5. The time is 6 seconds. And the lambda from formula S per N equals to 3 per 1.5 we get the lambda is 2 meter the question asks about wave B velocity or VB with unit meter per second to answer the question we use formula VB equals to lambda times with frequency The lambda is 2 meters and the frequency is still unknown. We can count the frequency with formula F equals to N per T equals to 1.5 per 6. So the frequency is 0 0.25 Hz. Now we input the frequency into the formula. So we get the value of VB is 0 0.5 meter per second. Now we get the value of VA and the value of VB. So the true answer is Sinta who said that wave A is bigger than wave B. Now we go to the second question. Look at the following picture. This is the picture of transformer or trafo. After observing the picture, you should answer three questions. First question is, count the number of secondary voltage. The second question is, compare with transformer with change 240 volt down 
to 12 volt and the transformer has 2000 turns on its primary coil. How many turns should it have on its secondary coil? Is that bigger or smaller than the transformer in the picture? Third question. What is the connection between voltage and number of turns? This is the solution for the second question. First trafo from the picture, we can determine the given. The given from the picture is primary turns is 4000 turns, secondary turns is 2000 turns, and the primary voltage is 200 volts, and the primary current is 2 ampere. The second trafo from the statement we know that the second trafo which change 240 volt down to 12 volt and the transformer has 2000 turns on its primary coil. The given of second trafo is primary voltage is 240 volt Secondary voltage is 12 volt and primary turns is 2000 turns. The question asks about A. Secondary voltage of first trafo B. Secondary turns of second trafo C. Connection between voltage and number of turns Now answer the question of equation. To answer the question of equation, we use formula NP per NS equals to VP per VS. 4000 per 2000 equals to 200 per VS. Four thousand times with VS equals to 2000 times with 200. Vs equals to 40,000 per 4,000. Vs equals to 100 volts. For the B equation, we still use formula NP per NS equals to Vp per Vs. 2,000 per NS equals to 240 per 12. Two thousand per NS equals to twenty. NS equals to two thousand per twenty. NS equals to one hundred turns. For the C equation, voltage is comparable with number of turns. If the number of turns is big, so the voltage also big. The opposite, if the number of turns is small, so the voltage also small. Now we go to the third question. Here is a diagram of a bar magnet. A magnet has a north pole or N and a south pole or S. Equation Draw the magnetic field lines for this bar magnet show the direction of the field lines with arrows. B equation Take the two correct statements about magnet. This is the statement.
This is the solution for the third question. From the question, we know that the diagram of the bar magnet The question asks about A. Magnetic field lines for the bar magnet B. Tick the two correct statements about magnet To answer the question of A We should draw arrows from north poles to south poles because the magnetic field line go to the north to the south For B question There are five statements The first statement is two north poles attract each other Second statement is two south poles attract each other Third statement, permanent magnets are always in the shape of bar. Fourth statement, magnetic fields cannot be seen. And fifth statement, a north pole and south pole attract each other. The correct statement from the five statement is The magnetic fields cannot be seen and a North Pole and South Pole attract each other. Now we go to the fourth question. A rabbit with thick and rough fur cross with thin soft fur rabbit produce F1 of thick soft fur rabbit. A question. If F1 is cross each other, count the ratio of phenotype. B. If the total of offspring is 400, count the number of ticks of poor rabbit offspring. Now we go to the fourth question solution. The question asks about A. Count the ratio phenotype of F2 and B. The number of ticks of poor if the total of offspring is 400. To answer the question of equation, we should make the test cross diagram. The first parental is big H, big H, small t, small t, cross with small h, small h, big t, big t. The gametes from each parental is big H small t, small h big t. Produce first filial or F1 big H small h big t small t with phenotype of thick sulfur. Now, determine the second parental from F1 cross with F1. Big H small h, big T small t cross with big H small h, big T small t. Each parental produce 4 gamet. You can make the planet square to know the filial of the second parental but based on the theory the second filial of F2 produce 9 tick soft fur of rabbit of spring three tick rough fur of rabbit of spring Three thin soft fur of rabbit of spring. And one thin rough fur of rabbit of spring.
Question B. The number of ticks of fur if the total of offspring is 400. The ticks of fur of rabbit offspring symbolize with big H underscore big T underscore. To know the number of ticks of fur, we use formula amount of ticks of fur per total offspring equals 9 per 16 times with 400 equals 225 offspring so the number of ticks of fur is 225 offspring now we go to the fifth question Look at the following electricity circuits. Picture A and Picture B. Rara and Dinda have different prediction about the number of voltage of the circuits above. Rara said the voltage of Picture A is bigger than the voltage of Picture B, but Dinda said the opposite. Help them to prove it. This is the solution for the fifth question. Picture A Observe the picture A. After observing picture A, we can determine the given of picture A. R1 is 16 ohm. R2 is 8 ohm. R3 is 6 ohm. The current is 2 ampere. Picture B Observe picture B After observing picture B, we can determine the given of picture B R1 is 3.6 ohm R2 is 6 ohm R3 is 4 ohm And the current is 1.5 ampere The question asks about voltage of picture A and voltage of picture B. To answer the equation, we must count the series resistor by adding first resistance with the second resistance. RS equals to 16 plus 8. equals to 24 now we parallel the series resistor with r3 1 per r parallel equals to 1 per 24 plus 1 per 6 equals 1 plus 4 per 24 equals 5 per 24 R parallel equals 24 for 5. R parallel equals 4.8 ohm. Total resistance equals to R parallel equals 4.8 ohm. Now, we get the R total of the picture A. We can use formula VA equals current times with resistance to get the voltage of picture A 2 times with 4.8 so the voltage of picture A is 9.6 ohm picture B we also must count the total resistance of picture B 1 per R parallel equals to 1 per R2 plus 1 per R3 1 per R parallel equals to 1 per 6 plus 1 per 4 
equals 2 plus 3 per 12 equals 5 per 12 R parallel equals 12 per 5 R parallel 2.4 ohm R total equals with R seri R seri determined by adding R parallel with first resistance equals 2.4 ohm plus 3.6 ohm so the total resistance is 6 ohm we can use formula Vb equals current times with resistance to get the voltage of picture B 1.5 times with 6 so the Voltage of picture B is 9 volts. So the bigger voltage is circuit A. And the correct prediction is RARA. Now we go to the sixth question. Two charges, 3 microcoulomb and 64 microcoulomb. If column force is 27,000 newton, prove is it right that the distance between two objects is 1 cm or not? 1 microcoulomb equals 10 to the minus 6 column. Illustration There are two charges. The first char charge is 3 microcoulomb. The second charge is 64 microcoulomb. The charges distance between radius of 1 cm. You must prove the radius is correct 1 cm or not. This is the solution for the sixth question. From the question, we can determine the given R Q1 equals 3 microcoulomb equals 3 times 10 to the minus 6 column. Q2 equals 64 microcoulomb equals 64 times 10 to the minus 6 column. Column force equals to 27,000 newton. The question asks about the radius. To answer the question, we can use formula Fc equals k q1 times q2 per r square. 27,000 equals 9 times 10 to the 9, 3 times to the minus 6 times 64 times 10 to the minus 6 per r square. Twenty seven times 10 to the 3 times r square equals 27 times 10 to the 3 times 64 times 10 to the 6 r square equals 84 times 10 to the minus 6 r equals to 8 times 10 to the minus 3 meter or r equals 8 times 10 to the minus 3 times 10 to the 2 cm so the radius is 8 times 10 to the minus 1 cm so the distance is false because the real distance between both charges is 0.8 cm Let's try. 
first question. A step-up transformer has 100 turns in the primary coil and 400 turns in the secondary coil if the potential difference of the primary coil is 10 volts calculate the potential difference of the secondary coil the second question an input voltage of a transformer is 22 volt the ratio between the primary and secondary coil turns is 1 2 3 calculate the output voltage of the transformer answer the question by yourself do not cheating i think enough thank you for your attention thanks for watching wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh